Hello, welcome to Astro Griffin's Occasion Series in YouTube tutorials. Today we're doing a simple uh, classification problem, a uh, logistic regression. Now remember, regression is not regression as in linear regression. It's only that when you do the maths, it kind of looks like linear regression, but we're just doing a classification problem. And just to say here on line one, I took this example from excelmasters.com and the IP belongs to them. So, you have a machine, you know, I think it's 20 machines, and either it runs the spec or it doesn't. And one, it does meet the spec, and zero, it doesn't. Um, so, and there are two independent variables, that's machine age and average number of shifts per week. We have the steps out here, which we'll get to in a second. And we sort the data, that's not necessary, but just as the statisticians say, just to eyeball the data, you can see not working machines are generally, are not the spec, are generally high age machines and are a high average number of shifts per week. Now, obviously, this isn't, you know, hard and fast. If it was hard and fast, there'd be no need to do a classification problem. And then we go down here we see that as the machine age drops and or the number of shifts drop uh, you're more likely to get a one you're more likely the machine works so that is step one step two is get the logic and we're there and I put in just any old numbers for B0, B1, and B2. You just you could put in 1, 1, 1, you could in minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, or minus 1, 0, 1. It doesn't matter. Solver will sort it all out. So, are we okay with that? So, we've done that. Then we get E to the L logit. That's step 3. Just looking up there. Yeah. Step 4 is get the probability. Oh, sorry, just in case I went too quick there. That's the EXP of E39. And then here we want to get the probability that's E to the L divided by 1 plus E to the L. So just hopefully that should be seen. And then we get um, the log likelihood. And that's there. Okay, and... Right, little mistake there. That sh I have to the power of that should be by the formula is correct. So what we want to do next then is we do a little sum down here. There, and this is where sort of the linear regression element comes in. We want to work out b naught, b one, b two. So we go to data. We go to solver. And it's sort of remembered from the last time. Yeah, that one by changing the cells uh, B29 to B31. So that's our target cell. And by, and we're going to do, I think I may have said B, F29 to F31. So we want to get these guys. So there we go, solve. Yeah, keep my answer. That's grant. And there's our decision, there's our solver decision variables. Now, so we then we did a scenario down here. So assuming that we had a machine age of 40 months, the average number of weekly shifts of seven, uh, what would be, is it is it going to work or ain't it going to work? So we get uh, the logic of it, which is there. Sorry. Sorry about that. We get the logit, which is there. We get the the exponential of the logit, and then we get the probability, which is there. So when we do all of that, we get it's seven point seven one percent. Remember, point oh seven seven one. That's seven point seven one percent. So chances are. It ain't going to uh, 
form and then if we did here machine age is 40 and the probability of weekly shifts is 4 so it's the same age but we've dropped the number of weekly shifts so there's this wear and tear on the machine as before there's our logic there's our there's our e to the l and there's our probability and it's 87.27 percent so 87.3 percent probability that the thing is going to work hope that helps a little oh sorry there was a scenario three there but you know i won't bother if i just leave it up and um, you get 68.9 percent sorry for the rush at the end Hope that helps a little. Thanks very much for listening.